Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10. Abandoned Aquarium A French urban explorer decided to go into an abandoned Spanish aquarium and film her experience. Inside, she saw the abandoned remains of what had once been a bustling theme park. You know, kind of like SeaWorld, but super creepy. She came across a rotting shark carcass, a dead squid, skeletal starfish, and all kinds of other marine nightmares. The explorer's name is Juliette, originally from the French city of Lyon, but unfortunately we have no clue what the name of the aquarium is. Even though this video has gone super viral with millions and millions of views, nobody seems to know exactly which rundown park she broke into and recorded. She probably did that on purpose to not get in trouble. But what we do know is that this wasn't just some aquatic graveyard. Most of the dead creatures she saw had probably already been dead when the aquarium closed. No one wants to believe that the employees left the animals to fend for themselves until they ran out of water and shriveled up into mummies. No, it's actually very likely these animals were already preserved. Take the creepy shark, for example. It may look like a zombie now, but it was probably originally treated with chemicals and kept in a specialized airtight case. Then the aquarium closed and the glass on its tank was shattered, perhaps by previous explorers. Now the creature is slowly decaying into a terrifying looking shark mummy. Number 9. The Lost Police Station Urban explorers in Scotland recently gave the world a rare glimpse into an abandoned Glasgow police station. Located on Argyle Street, it originally opened back in 1960. The Cranston Hill Police Station has been empty for about the last 10 years. Real estate developers West Point Homes is currently trying to demolish the site and build 84 apartments, but it hasn't happened yet. And so this could be the last look anyone has at the police station before it's completely destroyed. It's a rather creepy place. The urban explorers documented their journey through depressing cells where criminals had once been locked up. Rusting pipes, metal gates, busted light fixtures, and the unmistakable spooky vibe of treading through a potentially haunted cell block. The front desk of the police station has a sign that reads, even the cops can't keep us out. Everything in general looks pretty depressing. Would you be brave enough to explore this place? Number 8. Nuclear Bunker An urban explorer who goes only by the name of Jim came across an exceptionally well-preserved doomsday bunker. He snuck inside of an abandoned mansion in Adelaide, Australia. The mansion itself was creepy enough, but it also had a mysterious dungeon below. According to what Jim told Newsweek, the building has been abandoned for a very long time. It was originally built in the 1800s and has had lots of owners over the years. Locals believe the place is cursed because they say that everyone who owns it suffers misfortune and dies. The manor really is a mansion, with seven bedrooms, five bathrooms, all laid out across one sprawling floor. Jim went inside the place intending to photograph its interior and found himself enthralled by this lost piece of history. He went from room to room taking photographs, and that was when he discovered a hatch in one of the bedrooms. He gathered up his courage, cracked that hatch open, and descended into pure darkness. Much to his surprise, Jim was inside a fully equipped subterranean level, like something out of a video game. The dungeon, or the bunker if you would prefer, was clearly designed for a family to live inside of for months. It was just as big below the house as it was above, with at least eight rooms inside the nuclear bomb shelter. The shelter was installed much later by one of the more recent residents, and considering they had had enough money to purchase a mansion and build an underground bunker beneath it, they probably didn't mind leaving it behind when they moved to a new place. It's good news for everyone in the area, since now they know, if it ever becomes necessary, they will have a free fallout shelter within running distance of their homes. And now for number 7, but first it's shout out time! Big thank you to Michael Harkin and Think Different Zero One for supporting this channel! Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like these. Number 7. Pet Cemetery Urban explorer Daniel Sims came across an old, damaged, and seriously derelict mansion hidden away in a small English village. It was a pretty straightforward abandoned property, covered in graffiti, filled with bottles and cans from partying teenagers, and evidence of a fire inside the house. But what made it unique and even creepier than normal is that Daniel came across a mysterious pet cemetery. He originally found the house while looking at online maps. 
It was tucked away in such a random corner of the village that it would have been impossible to find by just wandering around. But what Daniel hadn't expected was that the house was actually an old and abandoned assisted living home. There were metal bars on the second floor windows to stop people from jumping out or possibly escaping. The walls were painted a disturbing shade of yellow, and as far as Daniel could tell, the place had only been abandoned for about a decade. The creepiest part was when he discovered the remains of a graveyard in the back of the house. He thought he was standing on the bones of people who had been buried by the staff at the home. It was only when he scrutinized the names on the tombstones that he realized they were animals. He doesn't know why, but the abandoned mansion had its very own graveyard of dead pets. Number 6. The Shopping Complex On Queen Street at Campbelltown, a popular shopping area in the Australian city of Sydney, there is an abandoned mall. It's a shopping center that's been left for dead, unused for over a decade, and is currently in a serious state of disrepair. The shopping complex was once called Brands on Sale, but now it's more of a hub for curious urban explorers. After 10 years of being raided by party-going teenagers and visited by urban explorers and YouTubers, it just gets more and more destroyed. The escalators have been ripped apart. There are holes in the walls where people have thrown things through them, shattered glass all over the place, and no security to keep anyone out. The shopping complex is four stories of nothing but garbage. The structural integrity of the building seems totally fine, which makes it even stranger that nobody has turned the property into something productive. The center originally cost $65 million to open in December 2009, only to go out of business about a year later. Number 5. Abandoned Disney In 2020, during the Great Panini, a man broke into an abandoned Disney World attraction and then posted videos of his highly illegal exploration on YouTube. His name is Richard McGuire, 42 years old at the time. Richard traveled from Mobile, Alabama to the Orlando theme park and found his way to Discovery Island. Discovery Island was once a very popular attraction for the public. Covering about 11 acres, it was home to all kinds of exotic animals and looked like a real tropical paradise. However, the island was plagued by scandals. There were rumors there was brain-eating bacteria in the water. In 1989, workers came under fire for abusing some birds, and people just slowly stopped going. In 1999, the island was closed. Disney hasn't done anything with it and never released an official statement, but it's most likely it was just replaced by the much larger and more popular Animal Kingdom. Now it's sitting abandoned in a lake, overgrown and covered in rusty metal cages. Urban explorers like Richard have reported seeing alligators prowling around and lights turning on and off even though nobody is there. Richard thought it would be fun to take a camping trip here, but it didn't turn out to be much fun after all. He was caught breaking and entering on surveillance footage, and the police swarmed the island as if they were trying to catch El Chapo. Richard was arrested on April 30, 2020. Authorities had to take a boat to go get him and take him to the main part of the park, then hauled him away to prison. He was quickly released on bail, and although he was looking at 12 months in jail, he just ended up paying a $100 fine and charges were dropped. Others have managed to get away with camping here and have posted it on YouTube, even though Disney has a clear ban on the area for people's safety. Number 4. Finding a Mummy A Spanish urban explorer crept into an abandoned building in the city of Alicante and came across the last thing he had expected to find. It was about 10.30 p.m. He had just arrived inside the abandoned building, and before he could really poke around the place, he found a mummified corpse. This wasn't a fake mummy, but a very real, preserved human body. The explorer was so startled that he immediately called the Spanish National Police. When they got there, he showed them the exact location of the body. By the corpse was a backpack which held the man's ID. He was identified as Julian Ortega. 56 years old when he disappeared in July 2019. That was three years before the explorer found him in May 2022. Clearly, this building hadn't attracted any other explorers. For three years, Julian's body had slowly decayed in that empty place, with nobody ever finding it. As of right now, we don't know if he was murdered, if he had been an urban explorer himself, who maybe suffered a heart attack, or what. It's all still under police investigation, and we don't have any answers. Number 3. Abandoned Hospital In 1997, the East Fortune Hospital closed its doors and never opened them again. 
This very old and now condemned psychiatric hospital can be found near the Scottish city of Edinburgh. And even though the entrance to the abandoned building is boarded up and entry is completely forbidden, that hasn't stopped urban explorers from poking around. Just recently, footage showed up online of an urban explorer known only as Tina taking a gander inside. She documented her trip through the haunting ruins of what had once been a treatment center for those suffering from tuberculosis. The building has been around for 100 years. The last quarter of its life may have been spent empty, but the first 75 years were filled with pain and misery. It was originally used to treat tuberculosis, only to change in the 1950s and become a psychiatric hospital. It went from the deceased and the dead to those suffering from horrible mental afflictions. What's really interesting is that a lot of the original equipment and furnishings are still in there. Old musical instruments, wrecked hospital equipment, chairs, tables, and asbestos everywhere. And although nothing happened to our urban explorer as she documented the hospital's most recent state of disrepair, it's essentially waiting to collapse. Number 2. The Forgotten Farm A man named Kyle, a 25-year-old who sees himself as an urban explorer, has been busy ever since the pandemic. According to Kyle, he's explored over 400 abandoned properties since he picked up the hobby in 2020. One of his more recent expeditions took him to a small farmhouse in Little Hereford, England. Amazingly, Kyle only heard about the abandoned farmhouse because he saw it on a random Facebook page talking about abandoned places. In April 2022, he made the journey there and broke into the house. What he discovered was a building in a slow state of decay, but surprisingly still filled with the former owner's possessions. Inside the building, Kyle came across an old sewing machine, candlesticks on the fireplace, sheet music still waiting to be played on the piano, and haunting pictures of the old residents. At first, he couldn't tell exactly how old the farm was. It seemed to be from a bygone age, and yet when he came into the kitchen, he found a calendar on the wall from 1998. Judging by the furniture in the place, it was probably lived in by the same family since the 1960s. Then, in January 1998, they just vanished. They didn't pack up, but definitely left. We don't know if they got spooked by something in the house, if they had fallen on hard times, or if they all perished in some freak accident. Number 1. Sunken Ghost City In Mexico in 2020, the Vicente Guerrero Dam reached its lowest level in 12 years. It was at only 48% capacity, its lowest since 2008 when Mexico was afflicted by some serious drought. And while drought is never good for anybody, there was one good thing that came out of the low water level. It revealed the creepy abandoned village of Old Padilla. The dam is a massive reservoir, the sixth largest in Mexico. The dam is mostly used to contain floods and began its life in September 1971. But in order to get the dam up and running, Old Padilla or Villa del Padilla had to be flooded, and so the village was emptied and the people were forced out. This was pretty tragic for the townspeople considering just how long Old Padilla had been in that same spot. The very first foundations were laid in 1749, and in 1824, Emperor Agustin de Iturbide was shot there. It became the first capital of the state of Tamaulipas in July 1825, and then in 1970, the place was evacuated. With the dam so low on water, everyone could see the ruins of this lost city. Although there really isn't much left to look at. There are some old stone steps, the remains of what was once a beautiful park where people walked and children played, and the crumbling ruins of homes whose residents, after multiple generations, were forced to find somewhere else to live. Thanks for watching! Which of these abandoned sites would you be brave enough to explore, or have you already? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe and come back soon! Bye!